Oh, good day there. I uh, hope you are well. Uh, I'm wearing a mask, uh, obviously, because we're in a lockdown uh, time and it's important that uh, masks be worn in all enclosed areas on public transport for the safety and well-being of everyone. Hi there. I hope you're having a, a wonderful NADOC week. I use the Aboriginal uh, Kulin Nation uh, welcome to uh, everybody now. Woman Jekka, which means uh, welcome. I hope uh, each and every family, um, the students and the staff are enjoying a safe holiday and one that is quite relaxing and refreshing. It's really important that we keep moving in a positive uh, direction. The point of my uh, message uh, today to everyone is to reassure people uh, about the start of uh, Term 3 at uh, MacKillop. Firstly, things are looking a little bit like they did in 2020, albeit a little bit different because in 2020 we didn't have vaccines. They are now available, albeit uh, a little bit uh, difficult in getting hold of, but in time, uh, I think we can all be confident that uh, we'll get a vaccination and uh, this virus will be rendered into history as something that uh, we were glad uh, we got uh, past that. Today, uh, the state government uh, announced uh, that the extension of the lockdown uh, across uh, Greater Sydney, which includes the Central Coast, will be uh, running through to Friday the uh, 16th of July. That has an effect on all schools in the Greater Sydney area, which includes the, the Central Coast, for how we're going to start uh, Term 3. For us, uh, we are looking at moving back into HBL just for a few days of the first week. Monday the uh, 12th of July will be a pupil free day. We're asking all families uh, to keep their children at home on uh, Monday the 12th. Just a little extension to the holiday, take it as a plus, uh, that uh, we need that time to meet with the teachers and make sure that we've got everything organised for the remainder of that week from Tuesday through to Friday, which will be home base learning. Things are a little different for Year 12. The Year 12 teachers will be in touch uh, with their uh, classes for what that will look like. There's some major project work to be completed and there is also other classes that will be operating uh, uh, via the way the teachers communicate to the Year 12 students. Year 12, uh, you're a big priority obviously because this is your HSC year and uh, you will be looked after in the best way we can. Everyone else from Kinder through to uh, Year 11 uh, will be at home-based learning. This is a little bit new for you, Kindergarten, but I know your parents will look after you uh, well at home and also your teachers will do a great job in providing you with home-based learning materials that you will learn something from but you'll also enjoy at home. We wish you well for that. For everyone else, year one through to year 11, things are a little bit uh, different in the primary. I know Mr Cohen and Mrs Kenny are organising with the teachers for home-based learning packages that can be collected from the college office as of uh, Monday. So those uh, packages will be there for people to pick up, um, call into the office and collect them. In the secondary, uh, everything's going to be made uh, available via the ways that we did them uh, in 2020. So teachers will be in touch with uh, uh, their students. And I know Mrs. Ferguson and Mrs. McGuinness have organised uh, important information that uh, they're going to email out. So parents and students, please look forward to um, important information that will come from Mr. Cohen in the primary and Mrs. Ferguson in the secondary for how we're going to operate school. 
So what's McKillop going to look like um, over the coming first week of Term 3? Monday, Pupil Free Day. Very important that you stay home. Tuesday to Friday will be home-based learning via that information that you're going to receive from our primary and secondary. Our teachers are busy uh, getting everything ready for you. And what we're doing a little bit different uh, this year uh, is that from the things that we learned in 2020, we're trying to get a good balance uh, that the idea of the full school day doesn't have to be taken up with a whole pile of work and overload you or make you feel as if you're not coping. We're looking for balance and it's a balance around well-being. So there will be check-ins with people. I know in the secondary that they will be doing a um, taking the role uh, in the morning, just making sure that we're in touch with everyone. And a similar thing will take place with the home-based learning packages that we'll know in the primary that um, students are engaging with that work. So some work, uh, some well-being, and some activities that keep you feeling good about uh, um, being uh, about for, uh, for the coming week. And it's only a week, so uh, I know we can look at things uh, with a little bit of a positive spirit, and that's an important thing. Moving forward from there, uh, it, when students do come back into school, it's important that we follow some safety uh, uh, procedures. Parents, you won't be allowed on site until that's given a, a clearance. Uh, there is the QR codes, of course, that need to be um, adhered to. You must wear a mask and the social distancing and the hand sanitising. Here at school, the teachers will be talking to the students about what the expectations are around those rules for going into classrooms, for what will take place with hand sanitising, uh, social distancing and what takes place out in the playground. I do want to talk about masks and I think it's really important that we understand that this particular virus uh, has a variant that's highly contagious. It's important if you're in an enclosed area, particularly out in the public, whether on public transport, uh, that you wear a mask. And I know many of our older students who work part time are wearing masks when they're at work. Well, school can be a, a safe place too. If you want it to be, uh, please wear a mask. I know many of the staff will be, and we will be doing our very best to make sure that everybody across the community is feeling safe and well looked after uh, through the protection um, and safety measures that we've have got in place. So, importantly now, keep safe, keep well, listen to what's coming uh, your way uh, from our primary and secondary, and we'll get through this first week. Let's hope and pray with the blessing that things get opened up well and people start to uh, move about a little bit more freely uh, after the 16th of, of July. So for now, uh, God bless and keep wearing those masks. It's important that we look out and look after one another. Take care. See ya. Bye.